What's going on guys? Oklahoma Outdoorsman here today. Today it is me and my boy wherever he went. I don't know where he went, but as you can tell, I've got a new toy. It's up there. So today I'm going to be showing you my Odyssey Mohawk canoe that I have. I'll give you a quick quick peek on the inside. Okay. And Real quick, before I got it off the truck, I wanted to show you kind of how I have it on there. This is just a cheap bed rack that I have. Decided to put it on the truck and throw the canoe up top just like that. This is a, I believe, 14 foot canoe. And it hangs off my truck roughly, I don't know, 3 foot maybe. Goes over the top of the truck. So... Next time you see this, I'm going to be pulling this off and I'll set it down, kind of show you what I got going on in it. And I'm taking suggestions on what else I need to do. So guys, here you go. Well guys, I didn't think about doing it until now. I'm going to show you pretty much how easy or hard it is to get off of the truck with one person. So we're going to go ahead and probably speed this up starting now. So guys, as you can see, getting it out one with one person is really not all that hard. This is not everything that goes in the canoe. So real quick, I just wanted to show you that. Now I've got a lot of stuff in the back of my truck I need to put in there real quick. One more second. Two seconds later. All right, guys, we got it all suited up and ready how we'd normally have it. We will start up here at the front of the boat where my boy is. Normally, if I take him, he'll obviously have his little blue life jacket on. Or my wife. She likes to sit up here. If I take her, most of the time I don't take this. But this right here is where they normally sit. This right here is actually just a bait tank that I made. It's just a uh, like a tougher tote with a bubble box put in. You can see the oar down there. And then we'll have a seat right here real quick. You have a seat right here. We'll start right here. As you can tell, I've got my anchor. And for my anchor system, all I do is I just have this like roll up rope. And if I'm not wanting to be anchored, I just pull it up. It pulls up just like that. When I want it to go down, just let some line out. These rod holders aren't the strongest, but it works for my anchor. And we'll go ahead and get that off. See, as you can tell, like I said, not the strongest, but I twisted it. <laughs> I took all this apart earlier, so yeah. These right here are my outriggers that I have made. I don't have them all the way put together right now for time's sake, but this is just a piece of, I believe one and a half inch PVC down to a one inch, down to a three quarter inch down there. And these bolts right here will come out and you can slide them in and out. And same thing with that, you can slide it up and down. On this, I have this connected with a metal clamp connected to a piece of wood that I have the rod holder on and a little bit further in I have this just cheap Harbor Freight magnet thing that I haven't found out where I want to mount yet but I use that if I want to just throw some extra lures up there like that or pliers just throw that on there all right, moving on, we've got our fish grips right here. 
connected right there, which obviously normally that's undone. <laughs> and then right here, I just have a cheap little knife that I can get to pretty quick and easy if I have to cut a line or cut the anchor rope or something like that. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. These right here. It's all wrapped around. I have about a foot and a half of paracord with a little carabiner attached that I hook up to my rods. So like on this one, this one's a little more difficult because it's a bait cast. Normally I use spin cast when I'm on here. But nothing is going right. There we go. Normally I take it and I'll hook it just somewhere while we're trolling or whatever. You just hook it on. Like I said, normally I use spin cast when I'm doing this. And if I'm doing that, I'll just hook it straight to the handle. But today I didn't want to. I just wanted to show you roughly how many rods you could fit. And then on this side, obviously, we have another rod holder. So that's one rod holder. That's another outrigger. We've got another rod holder right here mounted for that. And this one can move up and down. It can lift up and turn and do whatever. These are normally my trolling rod holders. They're pretty strong. I got those at Academy. Okay, there's that. Down here, almost in my lap, I have my net. Just a cheap, like, three-foot Walmart net. can reach down, grab a fish from up the front, reach down, grab a fish from the side, up there, wherever. And that just sits right here, kind of under my seat, off to the side, just like that. Okay, um, let's go ahead, right here, right off to my side, I have another one of those rod holders, and these, like I said, this one's facing backwards for when I'm out trolling. That's about all I can show you from the seated position, I'm going to go ahead and stand up, and hop out. Alright, so we have one rod holder. Two rod holders, three, four, five. So you can carry, uh, you could use that one as a rod holder too. You can carry six rods in this boat right here. Moving on though, I didn't like the way that the wooden seat felt, so I went and got a cheap Ozark Trail Stadium seat. And right now I just have it bungee corded and hooked on with the normal straps that it comes with. It works pretty well. Right off on this side, we have the oar. Normally that's pretty much in my lap. I keep my life jacket underneath the seat so I can get to it pretty quick. I've got my canoe crate that has everything I need. Have an extra paddle. Have my day box for whatever I'm going fishing for that day. I've got a couple little crappie boxes down there and a stringer. And right here, I have a cup holder. Normally this is a little farther back. That oar is not going to let me do it. There we go. And have my cup holder right there. <sighs> then back to two more rods on the rod holders right there. And those are good trolling rod holders as well. Those are strong. They're not going anywhere. Then I keep a pair of muck boots. Right down in there. My plans for it. I really plan on taking and putting a trolling motor. I'll probably run a board right back. Let me move this rod so I can actually move around. I'll probably take and put a board right about here. And run a trolling motor just a little... Probably 30 pound thrust trolling motor with an extension so I can actually move it. 
from my seat. But that was my plan for as of now. Obviously, I need to tighten some stuff down, get everything a little more built up. These rod holders right here kind of suck, and that's literally just sitting on there right now. But these rod holders aren't very good to begin with. They're meant for square tubing, like a pontoon boat almost. But yeah, guys, that right there is my pontoon boat. I mean, my canoe. Sorry. It works. Works pretty well. Like I said, this is a bait tank or a live well, depending on what I'm doing. But guys, let me know what else I should do. I'm going to change the outrigger setup. My boy just busted his butt. You okay? Yeah, but that didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt you? No. Okay. It's not a hook. It's just a rope. Move your foot. Just fix it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to change the outrigger setup because I don't like this one very much. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole PVC part off, get another wood bracket like this and clamp the wood down, and then get those industrial flag holders and put them on there and have them adjustable that way. I'll show you a picture of that right there. But... Anyway, guys, for now, that's pretty much what I've got going on with this thing. It works good. We don't track very well if me and my wife and kid are all in it, but it's okay. I mean, it gets us out on the water. Let's just go out there and have fun like we like to. Plenty of rods, plenty of space. I like it a lot better than a kayak. I had a kayak at one point, but... I'd much rather have this, this, it's just better overall, more room. Not very stable without the outriggers on, I'll say that. Not at all. Especially if you have kids. But, it's not bad overall. That's with the outrigger all the way adjusted in. And it just simply connects with a little bolt and washer. I mean, bolt and nut. Right through there. But, guys, that's pretty much that. Oh, one more thing I forgot I want to try and add. Harbor Freight has those cheap portable fish finders. So, I think I'm going to talk my wife into letting me get one of those and putting a fish finder on this thing it's like 40 bucks it's worth it but yeah guys let me know what you think i like the setup it's great for one two people tops like i said up here there's not a whole lot of room i'm gonna get a couple more rod holders like this that i can put boom boom up there for my wife my son doesn't really do a whole lot of fishing, but he he likes to come with. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of poorly planned. Oh, one thing I do have to show you guys. You remember my new truck that I got? Check this out. Look at all the hail damage. Look at my windshield. Completely busted everything up. But. Ooh, that one's pretty bad. But guys. Like I said. If you see something I need to change. Or anything really. Just let me know. I'm always. I'm, I'm good about judginess. This works for me and my family though. Alright guys. I think I'm just dragging on now. Y'all have a great day. Go do something with your life right now. I know with all this coronavirus BS going on, not a whole lot of people are doing anything except just staying home. We're us in Oklahoma, we don't have a stay at home order, so everyone's out fishing. Spend time with your family, have fun. I mean, I still work, my wife still works, but we're out having fun all the time. Anyway, guys, be safe and go do something outside today. 
Y'all have a good day.